What's up, Jiu-Jitsu nerds? Welcome back to part two. Uh, Jakob versus Bruno. Jakob's guard passing, standing passing, tries to knee slide, uh, now tries um, a back step. Uh, but you can't go for a back step if, uh, if you... Don't. Look, he tries to push his knee lower than his thigh, but if you, if you fail and you still go back step, you expose your, your back. But he feels that, so he drops... Otherwise, Bruno would have get the back for sure. But Bruno's still on it. Look at this. Uh, but now Jakob is able to scramble up. But um, Bruno can maintain the left knee inside. Now he has the option to catch the heel. What he does here. Or going for leg rags. Uh, but he catches the heel. Um, Jakob spins out with his whole full body away. But here Bruno's in on the heel again with an outside ashi. Good angle. Good pressure. And Jakob taps. Let's see what's going on now. Um, shin on shin entry here. Uh, uh, Bruno, it was right foot is pushing on the hip to keep distance. Very important against um, heavier people sometimes. Jakob trying to find a way to pass Bruno's guard, which is super hard. You can see that he's mostly trained in the gi. The pass he just tried it's almost like a like a toriando pass where, where you the version where you drop your weight and have the grips pulling to to the other side tries to go in for for uh, americana taking the le the arms bruno's arms but it fails bruno and the z guard here this time he steps back and clears the knee like has the knee beat then that's when the back step works guys so let's see that again. Look, his, his right arm pushes the knee. He steps far enough this time. Almost drops in Bruno's face. Now there's a knee bar danger. That's why Bruno turns. Look at Bruno. Boom. Turns. Now it will be a heel hook danger. That's why Bruno clears the knee line and, and keeps turning. His second foot is pushing too. Also his hand is on Jakob's leg. And boom. He, he's easily escaping. Uh, of course, Jakob could have done a better job controlling the foot. Um, but again, like he's not training he looks for long now or leg locks in general. Uh, Bruno drops for a very nice, um, you can call it hip push ashi or renashi. Um, we call it renashi because um, our head coach came up with this. Uh, not not specifically this. It's a it's a it's a full thing that he does a full system that he does from there. But this this can be the end position. Like the right foot on the hip creates a ton of pressure. The hip is elevated, pushing against the knee. And if you have a good bite of the heel, this is so much pressure. And yeah, you saw Jakob not tapping easy to heel hooks, but to this one, he, he had to. Yeah, it's nice to be flexible. It's a little bit cheating, but some people have that gift. <laughs> I'm just jealous, guys. I'm just jealous. Yeah, I mean, one thing, it's hard for Jakub to, to pass Bruno, not just because Bruno is good and Bruno is flexible. He's much smaller than him, right? It's, it's harder to pass smaller person sometimes because they're so compact if you're a bigger person. Nice triangle escape here. So, boom, Bruno shoots the triangle up, is in the diamond or danger position. Now he reaches for the head, which is completely the thing he needs to do. But Jakob's doing the opposite, posturing like crazy, he's even on his knees, and um, does the right thing by stepping over and freeing his head. Very nice, nice escape. Now he showed twice that he how he reacts to triangles. So um, the next time, maybe Bruno could work with it, but that's it. Um, guys, if you like this, please subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, follow us on Instagram too, and have a good one. Us.